Hey guys, welcome back to some more Pantropy. They finally released the update, and I say finally because uh, we're anxious to play, not because the devs took forever. I think the devs have done a fantastic job in a timely manner over the holidays, you know, that kind of stuff, getting everything together. Um, the issue they had was uh, not so much necessarily air quote hacking, but uh, people manipulating the game files, which is still considered hacking because that's exactly what hacking is, is you go in and manipulate files. Um, uh, for your benefit. So to me, that's still hacking. I mean, that's that's still hacking either way um, Not that it's a bad thing. Like I said in the last video glad glad it happened glad they caught it and glad they were able to fix it So they implemented a user account system. So this is the new screen. You will see when you first load it up uh, Welcome to the pantry building demo. This is an experimental pre-alpha demo. It contains limited features and content of pantry uh, Expect bugs FPS spikes lags and crashes. So we expect all that we knew that from the beginning uh, we might take the server down for 24 to 48 hours if we face major bugs performance issues So this is the new part right here. You will help us a lot by testing this part of the game We cannot do this without your support and patience and we could not do this without the devs being nice enough to upload this for a community test build So this that's nice of them uh, That music is so loud. I need to change that seriously um, Feel free to stream or record your gameplay if you find bugs send us an email bugs at uh, Playpantry.com This is the newest part right here for hacking, you will get permanently banned from our servers without a warning. There is no warning, so if you're caught hacking, you're definitely going to be banned for sure. Your Pantropy team. Thank you guys so much. So when you first log in, you will see this. Uh, welcome back, register or log in. Um, you can see my stuff's already logged in here. Uh, if you do not have a login, if you're just coming back to play this, if you've been away for a while, if you were waiting on this new update to drop, you will have to go up here and hit register. And register an email address and all that kind of stuff put your password in all my stuff's already in so we're gonna go ahead and connect and I should spawn back in my base unless something crazy has happened uh, looks like they took the EU server down already huh. weird good thing we're playing on the US server I guess uh, and they might be working on it too I don't know we'll see uh, but they added some new stuff. We're gonna go over the additions and fixes for this update here. Whoa Okay, so it did that thing where I spawned in my base floor for some reason uh, Either way, we're gonna get right to it on the Addition part. So this is the release 0 0.3.0 16th of January 2017 patch notes uh, Pantropy Pantropy Pre-alpha demo. Man, I cannot speak today. Uh, added. Here are the added features. User account system. So now you have to log in and all that kind of stuff. So that's good. That way they can track players and then keep up with, with who's doing what. So that's always good. Uh, server side player dav data saving. So it saves on the server side. It's no longer client side uh, or player side that it saves. Rather, it's uh, server side player data saving. So that's nice. Uh, player data encryption system. So that's uh, each player gets his own unique encryption, I assume. I, I don't know that end of it, but that's what it sounds like to me so that um, they know what players do and what, which I think is a great thing to have, honestly. Uh, additional composite parts. So they did add a few. We're going to go over that too. Uh, this is not just additions and, fixes, uh, additions and fixes. We're also going to see... Who's that that logged on? Couldn't tell. Uh, we're also going to go over the parts that they added, not just list them off right here. So... Um, the small rocket launcher has been Adam added. The medium mech has been added. Uh, quad barrel base turret, which looks really cool. I cannot wait to get one built. Oh, it's Cheese Lover logged in. Uh, new sound system for turrets and the mech. So that's pretty sweet. They added uh, new sound and stuff for the mech. Uh, that's the additions that they had. So we're going to go ahead and look at some of these things. And I have to go to crafting. I don't have anything built yet. So I don't have enough uh, materials to start building these yet. They do take uh, quite a while to build. Uh, it's going to be quite a, quite a lot of grinding going on. And I'm hoping to get a, get a buddy on here to play with me. So that we can grind this out and get some stuff built quickly. To, to show you guys. As you can see the railgun is still here. The assault rifle is still here. All your base, your perimeter gate wall is still here. Laser smelter, nuclear reactor. All that is still here. Uh, the wearable light, all the armor and stuff we went over in the last video. The armor plates are still in. Uh, four pig iron, one titanium. Uh, synthetic fiber still here. That takes one refined oil. 
uh, enriched uranium. You got the tech armor boots, explosive compounds, HE grenades, all that's still there. Uh, advanced weapon parts. I'm pretty sure this is this was in there, but it looks like it got an overhaul uh, on the um, what's that thing called? The uh, the part emblem, I guess. I don't, I don't know what it's called. We'll go with that. The part emblem. And then you see, we got standard 50 cal round ammo, as well as your standard assault rifle ammo. So here's the heavy quad turret you see right there. That thing looks like a beast, but it takes the uh, advanced 50 cal turret. It takes 50 cal ammo, so you'll have to have that uh, used for base defense. So you'll have to have the ammo to be able to make it. It takes 350 advanced mechanics, which is a lot. Holy crap, that's a lot. Uh, 70 armor plates, again, a lot. It's going to take a lot of resources to build these things. Uh, advanced weapon parts, really, really cool uh, so far, and it takes 50 motors. So this thing takes a ton of resources to build. Cannot wait to get one built, and I will have one built, I promise you that. Uh, small rocket launcher. Here's the other thing they added. This thing looks phenomenal. Look at that thing. Oh man, it looks like something you dreamed of as a kid, having the Nerf rocket launcher, you know what I mean? Uh, advanced weapon parts. 50. Two advanced CPUs and five advanced mechanics. This thing almost takes nothing compared to what I thought it was going to. Uh, yeah. That is amazing. I thought it would take way more material than this. So... Advanced weapon parts. Real quick, let's go look and see what it takes. Basic weapons parts and two titanium. That is nothing compared to the power you're going to get out of this thing. All right. Uses. I think they missed uh, the definition of that somewhere or the ex explanation. Nuclear energy cell. This is new too. Uh, one use only. Power source for the T2 mech. So it's a power source for the Tier 2 mech. Uh, you might want to pick a few of those... Uh, pack a few of those in your mech. So, from my understanding is by that is uh, you might want to have a couple of them on hand to be able to change them out. That's what it sounds like. Um, to 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 keep uh, fueled up. So here we go. Tier two mech legs. You do have to build each individual piece. So that's pretty neat. Um, these are the foundation for the mech. Place them on the ground and attach the tier 2 mech torso on top of it so you literally have to build this thing from the ground up uh, really cool really great feature I cannot wait to get one of these built but as you can see again it takes an absolute ton of advanced mechanics to build not only that but it takes 35 advanced crafting CPUs and 85 metal construction elements and 105 armor plates so these things are expensive woo uh, cannot wait to get one built though. Here's the tier 2 mech torso. Place this on top of the tier 2 mech legs and attach optionally one T2 mech Gatling gun on each side. The mech is powered by an advanced reactor, uses nuclear energy cells as fuel. Open the mech's inventory by pressing F. So that's pretty sweet. Takes 350, 80 uh, advanced crafting, and it takes 100 reactor components. And 200 armor plates. Man, these things are expensive. Seriously. All right, here's the tier two uh, mech machine gun. So it's a 50 caliber Gatling gun for the tier two mech. This is an optional choice for your mech. Your mech will function with only one or no guns at all. So let's read that again. As long as you have legs, a torso, and some fuel, your mech will function. You do not have to have the guns. You can only have one gun, but it will still move without it. Uh, where was I at? Stick, stick these to the sides of the tier two mech torso. So that is pretty sweet right there. And the machine guns don't take as much, but they still take quite a bit. 200 advanced mechanics, 50 armor plates, uh, 80 weapon, uh, advanced weapons parts. So they still take quite a bit themselves. And then here's your standard rocket for the rocket launcher, ammunition for the small rocket launcher. So one basic CPU, two titanium, and two explosive compound. Now to make explosive compound, you need... Um, is that right? 50 magnesium? Yeah, 50 magnesium, 25 coal, and 10 synthetic fiber. So that takes quite a bit to make there. Because synthetic fiber takes one refined oil, which I'm pretty sure uses uh, this stuff, which is oil sand. Yes, it does. So there you go, guys. There's some additions to the game to look forward to. I cannot wait to get this mech built. I am so excited. 
and I just can't hide it. Man, the thing's going to be great. All right, any questions about that, you can ask me in the comment section below. I will be more than happy to go back over video. I'm going to be grinding this, trying to get one of these built as quick as possible, because I really want to come back and show this thing off to you guys. Uh, this is the first time I do believe that it's been released into public testing. I know they had them on the, uh, the dev server at one time, but I think this is the first time they've been released into public testing. So it uh, looks really cool. All right, we're going to back out of that, and we're going to go over some um, of the fixes. So they fixed they fix the dupe bugs using the crafting station, um, minor performance issues, turrets not hitting the player, so that's going to be more dangerous now. If you're trying to go raid places, look out for those turrets because they, they will definitely be aiming at you now. Uh, improve bullet decals. So that's nice. Decals, that's the word I was looking for a while ago. Uh, improve bullet impact effects. That's nice. It's always nice to have those little bitty details, you know, when your bullet hits something. Um, what is that? Was that always on top of the ship up there? I don't remember seeing that. Anyway, ADD kicked in. Let's go back to this over here. Uh, or spawning time was too short. It definitely was. If you remember my last video, if I even did a video, yeah, I think I, I think I showed off some of the mining in it. I just kicked my mic stand. I sincerely apologize for that, guys. I hardly ever do that, and I did it. I'm sorry. Let's go back to this. Ignore that that happened. Ignore that loud noise and your eardrums being blown out. I'm sorry for that. Uh, base core in big bases did not work. They fixed that. Uh, changed some crafting recipes. They changed a few of them up for sure. Uh, I'm not sure what all they changed up thus far, but I've seen one or two that were different. And fix the building part dissolve effect. So before, I don't have my gun anymore. As you can see, I'm a completely clean character. Uh, I started over on my levels. I'm crafting and harvesting level uh, crafting level 2, harvesting level 5. I'm just about to level up again. Um, I'm curious as to how you get research leveled up. I think that might be coming later. But uh, what's last here? Fix the building part uh, particle dissolve effect. Part dissolve effect. Uh, yep. And plus 150 bugs... That we fixed internally, initially, internally, internally, not initially, internally, which appeared due to the new saving and user system. So I'm guessing those were bugs that uh, they had previously fixed or did not have at all, but because of the new system involved, um, showed up out of nowhere. So, all right, guys. Well, um, I would go show off some other stuff I've got done, but I don't have anything done yet, so... Um, I do have those I can take out of there, and that gives me some ore. So I'm going to start grinding, and I'm going to try to have you a rocket launcher, a mech, and some armor built the next time uh, we play, or one or the other. I might do a couple of videos between, because I know that mech is going to take me a very, very long time to build. So until then, guys, thank you so much. If you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment below, and let me know what you think about the new update, the mech system and the turrets and that kind of thing and how they're going to change the game for you and also let me know what you think about the the cost of building the mech is it too expensive is it too cheap is it just right you let me know for sure i'll see you in the next one guys later